Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you about the heat map on the Western digital hard drives. We know heat map setup and use is very important for data recovery from pensioned Western digital hard drives. Now let's check one by one from the DFLWD firmware repair tool and the DFL DDP data recovery program. Firstly, let's check the head map within the DFL WD from repair program. So we can check with in the ROM operations menu. Under this menu, we can see that there is ROM head map editing. And we know in Seagate, we also has the head map editing in ROM. But please note, the head map editor in uh, Western Digital ROM operations. This one is not for data recovery. This one is only for hard drive refurbishing. Users can use it to cut head, and users can use it uh, to diagnose which hard drive has clinking noises. But users cannot use it for data recovery. For example, if we try to untick head 5, after the head 5 untick, we click edit. Then we try to use the firm restart and see after the head map editing in Western digital hard drives, the drives will generate clinking noises and it become undetected. So for Western digital hard drives, we cannot use the head map editing wrong. For data recovery, so we need to change the head map back. After we change the head map, head map back to its original one. We need to use firmware restart to get its original status of the head map. And then we can check the status. Now the drive becomes ready. Sometimes it is necessary for users to cut the head physically, especially for the Western digital hard drive, scratch the hard drive. If the drive has scratches, sometimes it is necessary for users to cut the scratched heads. Now at this time, we don't need to edit this head map in ROM. The only thing we can do is to head to edit the head map in RAM. Here. Under the COM menu, we can find one menu called Head Map Editing in RAM. So here we can see that this is the head map information from head 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So totally 6 heads. And here we can edit the head map. After we edit the head map, in RAM, we can go to the DFL DDP data recovery program. We switch to this one and then we set up the new project, disk image, target drive, Now, after we edit this head map in RAM, we switch back. We can edit the head map in RAM. For example, we change to head 4 and click OK. And here, within DDP, we switch back to DDP data recovery program and head map 
we select Western Digital Our Series and then we click OK so the program will start to set up the head map So for the Western digital hard drives, we can edit the head map in RAM and set up the head map for disk image within the DFL DDP data recovery program. Please note, we have changed the top head, the head 5 to head 4. So after we set up the head map in the DFL DDP data recovery program, we need to untick the head 5 because we already changed the head 5 to head 4. So we just need to image all the heads except the head 5. because we have turned off the head 5 within the RAM. So here we cannot find the head 5. Now here we need to untick head 5 and then we start the image. So this is how we make best use of the edit the head map in RAM and then set up the head map in DFL DDP data recovery program and untick the turned off head and then start the image. So this one is very helpful to image the pension hard drives with unstable heads. Sometimes when the drives have scratches, we need to use this process as well.